The one teacher today is Dr. Bosa Sars. Dr. Bosa is the teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. So you can join in today. 0753-80-2709. Today, 13th September 2020, we are going to look at tissues. A tissue is a group of cells that are linked with associated intercellular substance to perform a particular function. Tissues combine to form organ. Organ is combined to form organ system and the organ system combine to form to form organism. An example of tissues include muscles, muscle, blood, bone, connective tissues. Then tissues combined to form organs, organs like a kidney, like a heart, like a brain. Then organs combined to form organ system like nervous system, circulatory system, respiratory system. Then the system combined to form organism. An example of organism is man. Types of tissues. Tissues are classified according to their function is animal tissues include epithelial tissues, connective tissues, skeletal tissues, nervous tissues, and then the productive tissues. The first animal tissue we are going to look at is epithelial tissue. Some people call it epithelia. These are tissues that cover external and internal surfaces of animal body. They are made of one or more layers of cells resting on basement membrane. Their main function is protection. Epithelial tissues are subdivided into a squamous epithelium. It consists of fraternity cells which fit closely together like a crazy paving. So, on the top of view, the squamous epithelium will be seen as a paver. Then, on a vertical section, There is a basement membrane, then you will see them as this. Function is the allocation, you find them on the skin surface, in the lungs, lining the alveoli, and then bloody capillaries uses the facilitated diffusion facilitate diffusion another example of epithelial tissue is tuboidal epithelium tuboidal epithelium is one cell of thick the cell heights and width are approximately the same or are they approximately equal to be seen like that. This is a basement membrane. They are located in this rivalry duct, collecting duct of the kidney thyroid gland. And their function is to secrete substances or to absorb. Absorptive tuboidal epithelium. Sometimes I've got micro villi to increase surface area for absorption. Another type of epithelial tissue is a columnar epithelium. It is made up of elongated cells at right angle to the basement membrane. They are located in the lining of the stomach, the small intestines, 
and their function is, is to absorb or to secrete the secrete enzymes or the absorb digested food. Absorptive column epithelium have got microvilli to increase surface area for absorption. Selected epithelium is made up of columnar cell having numerous cilia. These are located in the oviduct, trachea, and branch, and their function is to cause the movement of objects. In the trachea, they keep moving the dust from the lungs to the throat. In the oviduct, they move the egg from the ovary to the uterus. Then E, pseudostratified epithelium. All the cells lie on the basement membrane, but not all the cells reach the surface. They are located in the urinary tract, trachea, olfactory, mucosa. Their function is to allow stretching. We have compound epithelium, which are made of more than one cell thick. A is stratified epithelium located on the skin vagina esophagus and this function is to protect especially against friction. B, we have transition epithelium. It's made up of three to four cellular layers. It's located in the urinary bladder, ureter, and pelvis. Pervi and pelvis. Glandular epithelium. These have epithelial cells. These have epithelial cells folded inwards, forming invagination, where the cell lining the bottom of invagination is a secretory. There are two types exocrine gland. These are glands with the ducts. They release. They are secretion to the external through ducts, while endocrine gland, these are glands without ducts. Their secretion are released in the blood. Types of exocrine gland, they are classified according to the type of epithelial fold. The types can be simple, circular, like mucous gland of the skin of amphibian. They can be two simple tubular, like Krebs lumbacum gland. They can be called tubular, for example, sweat gland. Four, we have simple tub branched tubular. This is the shape. They are found in the Brunner's gland in the walls of mammalian small intestines. Then you have simple branched circular. Circular. Then an example is sebaceous gland in the mammalian skin. Six, we have a compound tubular gland found in the pancreas and the mammary glands. Also seven, you have a compound circular gland. The shape is this one, and is located in the mammary glands. We have connective tissues. These are tissues which fill gaps in the body. They are also used for storage. Parts of a connective tissue, we have fibroblast, the cell that produce ground substance, collagen fiber and elastic fiber, provide mechanical support. The matrix contains nutrients to the cell, mast cells, neutrophils, microphage, they are for defense. They defend the body against invading microorganisms. Then the fat cells, they, st they store fats.
in the next lesson we shall look at plant tissues please subscribe to Dicto Teachers website to promote the website